So Hawthorne, first out onto the ground tonight. The Hawks, as I said, premiers in the night series back in 1977. And they were runners up to Collingwood in 1979. And now we await the arrival of the defending champions, Essendon, who have been defeated only twice in the day competition so far during 1985 by Footscray and North Melbourne. The Bombers also won the title in 1981. And here they come now, led by acting captain Timmy Watson. Very, very good crowd in attendance in view of the cold conditions in Melbourne tonight. Certainly the crowd in excess of 20,000 as the Bombers gather to break their banner. And now the fireworks presented by Fosters in the traditional black and red colours of Essendon. spectacular opening to the 1985 Foster's Cup Grand Final from BFL Park. Good evening. I know it's going to be a great match. Let's go down to our men on the ground now, Peter Donegan and Jack Edwards. Thank you very much, Peter, and a very good evening, everyone. Well, what a magnificent atmosphere we have here at BFL Park tonight for the Foster's Football Cup Grand Final. And with the crowd, as Peter said, well over 20,000 people, I can tell you, down here on the ground, it is absolutely deafening. And the atmosphere is really one of a grand final. Both sides out on the ground now, welcomed by the fireworks. And as far as the Bombers are concerned, well, I had a look at uh, the rooms there. They wouldn't really let us into the rooms. Kevin Sheedy locked his players up. Now, we know that Roger Merritt will not be playing. Simon Madden will also not be playing. But the good news is that Paul Salmon will be playing. He's out on the ground. They've named a very strong team. Trevor Spencer will play up on the forward line. And also Glenn Hawker will be back into the Essendon side after an absence of uh, quite a while. So that's what's happening in the Essendon rooms. Let's find out how the Hawks are preparing for tonight's grand final as we say good evening to Jack Edwards. Thank you, Peter. You surprised me when you said Salmon was playing. I thought this is the last time they'd play Salmon like that. I know it's a grand final, but under these conditions, I thought, bad news. But anyhow, that's their business. Whitman, Abbott, and also Malaxos on the bench for Hawthorne. They won't tell me exactly who's playing. There have been a few uh, fellas under a cloud, but there they're coming out now. And they're a pretty fit side, a strong side. A bit of a doubt on Tuck, a bit of a doubt on Brereton, but they're going out to win. Well, Jack, who's your tip? I'm going to stick with Hawthorne. I don't know why, but I'm going to stick with Hawthorne. Well, I'll go a little bit differently. I'll go for the Bombers, but uh, whatever the result, we're certainly in for a great game of football. A pretty cold night, but a top grand final coming up. By Here the way, Peter, yes, Jack. they won't be the only fireworks we'll see either. Yeah, There'll be plenty out there in the ground later. Wouldn't be at all surprised if you're right. Let's yeah. return now to Peter Lamb. Yes, I think we'll see a few fireworks out on the ground before the night's over, gentlemen, and the umpires for tonight's match. Two of the most experienced men in white on the VFL panel at the moment, Peter Cameron and Glenn James. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the action from the first quarter after this. Every lane's a fast lane. Everyone's in gear. Los Angeles, I can't explain. Just know I'm staying here. It's the city of angels. A city of sun. A city of stars. And maybe she'll be one. And I'm staying for the show L.A. I'll never go With the beer for my taste Comes from another place Australia's great international beer Is starring in the world's great cities Every day <laughs> 